Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. It's a hot 95 degrees here today. The sun is out, few clouds, little breeze, so not that bad. We'll take it. Better than cold weather. Well, in my opinion, anyways. All right, here we go. 2017 Wildside 30-foot lift gate trailer. Probably the nicest lift gate trailer condition wise and that age range that i've ever had the gentleman that traded this in very meticulous very ocd very 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 clean stuff that he traded us again he's the original owner 2017 model 30 foot box it's 36 foot overall including the tongue now you can see here on the tongue it currently has a panel hitch. We can change that to a two and five sixteenths ball or whatever you need, but currently set up with a panel. Diamond plate tongue. It is a front entry trailer. Was previously used on a dirt late model team. 8,000 pound torsion ride triple axle. Brand new tires, okay? Brand new hand cooked tires we just installed. Of course, hydraulic lift gate. You can see the controller plugged in. Sliding glass, rear doors, polished stainless on each side. And we can, in, we can install the t-shirt cabinets too. If you wanted t-shirt cabinets, display cabinets, I know a lot of the racers use those. We can install that. Has the removable aluminum step there. Hydraulic lift gate. I think the lift gate length is, um, like 14 foot 10 inches with the aluminum flap over. Has the vinyl banner in the upper deck to keep the, the dirt out. And this can be used for multiple different things. Um, dirt racing, asphalt racing. Uh, I even recently sold one to a gentleman that was gonna put a classic car in the top and then he owned a car detailing uh, products company. So he was gonna put like a bunch of supplies down in the bottom and use the uh, the lower part is like a either a little showroom or just a place to store all these supplies at the events that they they sh you know set up and, and sell their products at but he was going to put a classic car in the top so multiple multiple uses again 36 foot overall length smooth side rivetless exterior as you can see there with the uh, polished fenderettes and the aluminum trim. Now, Wildside, fairly small company with incredible quality, okay? They're built down in Blue Ridge, Georgia, down in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Uh, it's a tube steel frame with aluminum skin and aluminum trim, and then they use their custom cast corners that has their name uh, in it, but very, 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 very clean, okay? just. The craftsmanship by those guys is is really, really, really uh, high on the spectrum for sure. So uh, it's loaded with Technocraft aluminum cabinets. Most every cabinet in here has adjustable shelving. Uh, it's got about, I'm going to say 20 foot, 15, 20 foot of aluminum tire rack that's double row. And if you don't need the tire rack, we could remove those, put more cabinets in, more workbenches. We can build to suit, so whatever you need. Black cabinets with gray uh, trim and, and frames. Very nice, look at this. He showed me this when he brought it in to trade it. He put this rubber mat down the day they bought it. Again, original owner. I mean, just every cabinet. I was even looking back here. All of them are labeled. You can see crew. Uh, there's your wheel chocks and my water. But every cabinet has rubber in it, like not scuffed up, not banged up. Uh, this bottom one down here is for engines, so these two latches you pull and it's an engine compartment. On the other side, which would be the passenger side, you've got screwdrivers, wrenches, sockets. I mean, everything's labeled, and these lock and pull out. Again, another very nice product built by Technicraft. Check them out at trailercabinets.com. Uh, if you're ever needing any cabinets, incredible quality down at Technocraft. Uh, it does have in-floor storage, which is a nice option. A lot of people, when they build these trailers, they forget to do that or forget to add it. Um, you Something that you will need and use, especially in the racing market. But 
Um, roughly 47 inches, I believe, width uh, between the cabinets back there. And let me throw one more thing at you. Let's say you, you called and you were like, hey, we love the trailer, but we want to be able to put like a golf cart or a side-by-side -side or a, um, you know, a little Mini Cooper or something like that in the bottom deck. We can accommodate, okay? So we could take and move these cabinets, shuffle all of them this way, remove the tire racks, move the cabinets to the front of the trailer, and then all we would have back here in the back is a couple uh, fender wells that we could... You know, it, it expands the width because right now coming through those glass doors, you got about 44 inches of width with them open. Um, but we can we can put the glass doors on a, a pivot to where the frame moves in and out. We've done it recently for a gentleman on a trailer we sold uh, to him down in Florida. He was very, very pleased with that. So, um, in fact, I'll throw a couple photos in the album of how his trailer turned out just to give you an idea of what it would look like. But we can, we can leave it just like it is, or we can um, move the cabinets to the front again. We have a full fabrication shop, sheet metal shop, everything right, right here in the house. So it has a 57 inch upper deck. That is something I didn't mention. Uh, it does have one of these sliding inspection ports. Let me get him moved over here. There we go. So you, that's looking at the back of the trailer. You can see the banner. And then we go around to the front. Uh, it's got uh, air compressor and a winch up there in the front, a little um, bracket, little shelf bill hanging down. They had some body panels on. And then uh, this it does have a one-piece aluminum walk-on roof, okay? So what I mean by that is when we go down here, this ladder, this aluminum ladder right here in the corner will take you up. You just raise up this little hatch and you go up that ladder and then you take that ladder that's on the wall and you put it from the the gate in the back up to the roof so you can access the roof very safely very easily but um i think that covers most of it on a trailer there's not a whole lot to look at compared to the coaches but again every cabinet in this thing just immaculate condition um it does have a place here for a spring smasher oh and there is a um there is a little uh a fridge in that cabinet as well. So if you have any questions, give me a shout. Uh, trades accepted, financing available, and uh, we also deliver nationwide. And again, we can build to suit. So if you think this has, um, you know, something pretty close to what you're looking for, uh, and, but you need a few small changes or you have a few ideas, uh, throw them at us. So check out the full online photo album, uh, description, price, and everything at chasecoach.com. And uh, please just uh, give us a shout with any questions. So 2017 Wildside, it's a 30-foot liftgate trailer, which is 36-foot overall length, including the tongue. And uh, very, very, very nice shape. So anything that uh, you're interested in, please give me a shout, and uh, we'll do our best to help you out. Appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, it really helps us out. I think as of a couple days ago, we were at 6,000 subscribers. So appreciate each and every one of you for uh, tuning in and um, hopefully we'll uh, get to meet you one day. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Have a good one.